Do you know why does our network need routers, switches or firewalls? How many network equipment can deploy a useful network? In this video, we will discuss the development of network hardware. Let's begin. Before we invent the network, those personal computers work by themselves. So, we use network cable to connect PCs. The minimum network unit consists of the network cable, network card and protocol stack. The network cable plays the role of physical medium to carry bitstream or electric signal. If the distance between terminals is too far, once the upper limit of the physical transmission distance of the network cable is exceeded, data will begin to be lost. To solve the problem, a repeater is a physical layer product that can relay and amplify information to achieve long-distance transmission of equipment. Repeaters generally only have two interfaces, which means that if there are more than three terminal hosts in the network, direct data communication between multiple hosts cannot be realized. So, we invented the hub. The hub is a multi-interface repeater, which is also a physical layer product. It can relay and amplify information. The data received from any interface will be flooded to all other interfaces. What should I do if I am afraid of harassment? The bridge is here, the switch is here. The switch is a link layer product that can record the MAC address of the terminal host and generate a MAC table, also called a CAM table. The MAC table is equivalent to a map. The switch forwards the data flow between hosts according to the MAC table. The router is here. Router is a kind of network layer product based on IP addressing using routing table to realize data forwarding. The wireless access point is here. Wireless access point can be regarded as a switch or router with wireless function. With the trend of wireless cities and mobile office, the proportion of wireless products in the network is increasing. The firewall is here. A firewall is a network security product used to restrict network security access. A firewall is generally used at the edge of the internet to prevent external hacker attacks. Flow control is here. The flow control products in the network are mainly divided into online, behavior management, load balancer, application delivery, link optimization, etc. The flow control product is a seven-layer product that pays more attention to flow and application characteristics. The question is, how many devices does a network need? This is a typical home network, which provides Wi-Fi hotspot access through a wireless router and provides a router to connect to the external network. Small business network, using two-tier plus purchase, single core topology, requires routers, switches, and servers. The most common campus network architecture such as large and medium-sized enterprise networks or campus networks uses a three-layer architecture of access, convergence core, and a dual core network this is a typical large second-tier data center network slash IDC design, which is mainly divided into tenant area, service cluster, internet area, and security management area. There are many brands of network hardware, such as Cisco, Huawei, HPE, Dell, Juniper, Fortinet and so on. Welcome choose the right one for various needs at routerswitch.com now.